Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not our church at all, but it is His and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries from Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilam Somi. Baba, we to get in your langalana. Ah, Jesus, what is last Sunday, you Baba? Gonya magachuta, vu kanga manda, paga tigwe tu si benjenga we. Ngonyama gachuta Ipagati kwetu Ngonyama gachuta Ipagati kwetu Iabusa Ngonya magachuta Ipagati kwetu Iabusa Pagati kwetu Ngonya magachuta Ipagati kwetu matota Yeah, 
Do you hear me? The time that we live in, the earth will wear out. The diseases are still going to be much. There will be loss of jobs. Violence will be there. People will hate each other. My brethren will be betrayed. They will go to the courts. The Bible says. But, but when things are like that, what do you do? And he says to them, remain as you are. So that things will proceed as the will of the Father. Do you hear me? Do you get so, this? So it is important to know things that were said by Jesus the way he does on earth. Some of the things, he said he won't change any the, some of the things, but the Father, Heavenly Father, will do so. And I said, Jesus, for the Father gave everything to the Son. And I realized that God has done. Has Let this cup be. He said, no, but not my will, let this cup pass. And the Heavenly Father kept quiet. It's like that. He said, my grace is, is sufficient for you. Then when after prayer, and the angels came and strengthened him so that he can go to the cross. Holy Spirit will come and strengthen you when you go to When you go to the cross. Amen. Do you hear the times that we live in? What do we do when earth is warning out, wearing out? Do we pray that it, <laughs> it mustn't wear out? Because it will wear out. Like we pray? Against if we do that, we will be going against God's will. In other words, we must understand this. If you go through the wilderness, you will never change the wilderness to be because it is like that. When I rule alone, Go through it. Allow the wilderness to do its, its work in you. 
will repeat it. Allow the wilderness to do its work in you and you do your work in it. What does it do in me? It builds my faith in God. And, and, and be able to live. What do I do? I will be able to survive. Uh, to uh, interpret um, cool. Bang is obazalan. Is catch a spill like son. Sifuna uguba sibe no onda no ma wisdom can call. We need this kind of wisdom of God in these times. Because if we are not doing so, we will fight a losing battle. If we are fighting a losing battle, our life will remain failures. We will remain our failures. Amen. Mister, I want to lay a lunch. Na balale legrete basa zotu kwenza Are you getting it, people of God? It is very important. We as the church, we need the wisdom of Solomon. We need the wisdom of uh, uh, Daniel. We need that kind of wisdom. We need a, a, a wisdom of Joseph. We need that mind of Christ to be in us. Because we cannot survive the times like this. It has never been. There will never be. So when you are facing something that has never been, you need the wisdom of God. You need to learn from the past, from the history, and learn from today. Then and be able to predict tomorrow. If God says the world is going to weigh out, what must I do? He said the glory will be greater than the former one. What does that mean? Oh, when the world weighs out, that means most of the things that are going to happen are unfamiliar. That will make the glory to be greater. Are you getting it, church of God? So, if the glory is going to be greater, then the world must weigh out. What does wearing out mean? It means there will be more problems. There will be more sicknesses. There will be a crisis in the economy. In the last days. So that we will see the glory. You can see the glory in the abundance. There must be a scarcity. Before you see the glory. There must be more sicknesses. In in order for you to see miracles. There must be more damages in order for you to see the glory. Sometimes we say things that we don't mean. We say, Lord, we are waiting for the glory. You said the, the, the greater will be the last glory than the former glory. But what we are saying, we say, Lord, we are anticipating the troubles. We are anticipating more sicknesses. We are anticipating more crises in economy. So that we can see the glory. There will be no miracles if there are no troubles. You see, sometimes we trouble ourselves by praying for miracles. You see, a person who's praying for miracles is the one person who tortures himself or herself. What is a miracle? A miracle is something unusual. 
It's something that cannot be done with the natural things. That means you must lose everything in order for you to see a miracle. How many times have you prayed for a miracle? When you pray for a miracle, you say, God, take everything. Everything that I can use. Everything that I trust. Everything that I, trust. Everything that I believe in. Let me you remain. Every time we pray for miracles, we don't know what we are heading to. Oh, Baba, I'm going to win this Father, can you please perform a miracle this week? And he will say they will choose you out of the way. While you are being frustrated, that's a miracle. Then you will be hired at another work. And you're praying for a miracle. You didn't even direct the miracle that you want. You will lose your money. You are looking for a miracle, isn't it? And you will go around. And you will, you will meet a person who will say, I was looking for you and God has placed this God in my life. Yes, you have been tortured within you and the miracle there is a worry there is fear that you have never felt there is hardship that you have never felt but who asked this miracle? when? it is you how many things we ask from God yet they are not in our journey we ask them from God. We said, God, please do perform a miracle. Uh, I think so and he will say, God, I will so perform it. It. But it will be hard into your flesh. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's the time that you are living in. I'm not saying don't pray for it. We want people like you. Who will pray for so miracles so that you will continue seeing the miracles? When you are a person who you, has a miracle, you will see them. We will give you a round of applause seeing the miracles. Sometimes, yes, in a masterless mangali, so sugestrelan. When we ask for a miracle, do you know what we ask for? I won't say because you didn't respond. Peace be with you. When we ask for miracles, we want everything to be good. We want to show off. We want to be on display. We don't know that it take our cost. It causes you to be isolated on your place while people are old together and speak ill about you. Yet you are cornered. Do you hear me? We don't understand. We don't understand. That when you want someone to do it, what does the anointing mean? You want the anointing to show up. But you don't know that you are putting people around you. The anointing cannot come when there is no need around. When I want to the anointing, that means people around me Unless if I want to I want and I have to go and seek those people who are sick. God, but if I don't look for them, those people around me will get sick. Do you hear me? Brother? There are so many things. That is why Jesus say when you are praying, you pray and say, Pray and say. He didn't say pray. And say. He said pray and say. 
to pray and say format that means it's a format no wedding and a wedding I mean words also wash. that you need to say. Wash you can utter the and words and they can but work for you. Are format. But you can Futik use sebenze. such formats and this will work for you. Man, it's a format. When I say it's a format, Man, whenever you pray, in your prayer, God's name he is not to be revealed that he is in heaven is locked like father you need to know that he is able to keep he, he, need to know he must not lead you into temptation but deliver you from the evil one do you hear me do you hear what I'm saying God has provided everything he said please don't lead us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one others they say from the evil others they say from the evil one I prefer to say from the evil one there is no evil without the evil one we need to to be saved from the evil no, one, because the evil one is the one who blesses evil so that you won't be no, no, no. we need to be delivered from the evil no, one no, no, no. evil one can possess anyone no, no, no. I was telling them at some last I said there's no one no, no, no. here on earth no, 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 no. who can never be possessed by the devil no matter how holy you are the devil can he doesn't uh, ask for permission even, even if you bind him outside bind but later, he, can can enter. he will say you bind it later I'm already in he enters to accuse he just comes and say I'm here to accuse a swane he enters now can he ask to enter into your house he is thrown it is the bible say what okay example example okay if he is in heaven, heaven, the heaven is so holy. holy. Just imagine that he no is in holy. Again, the appointment. He doesn't make an oh, Gabriel, appointment. No Gabriel and Michael. They don't hear the holy of holies. He enters and to speak with the holy. He doesn't accuse no, no, no. you of the angels, but he will accuse you before God. Now can he fail to enter your house? While your children are in good condition, they are entering with things that are not permitted. Yes, they will enter with him. Do you hear me? One day he possessed a great bishop, Peter. Jesus said, my spirit is sorrowful until the death of the cross. Then he took out his sword and he said, you are not going to do that thing won't happen. Do you know what Jesus said? He said, go away devil. You don't understand the mysteries of God. He didn't say, come out from Peter, but he said, go away. He accused him from the devil. That means the devil is Jesus who is able to see the mystery. He and Peter was delivered immediately. That is the same Jesus who said, I've seen the devil descending like a light wanting to divide the because they are not able to divide you. Just imagine the devil is going to divide you. He doesn't speak about the congregation but by his anointed one whom he have chosen. He chose them. I've seen him wanting to divide you to he will enter you see when he comes to divide the he will say this one belongs to me this one belongs to him 
when you divide you, take, you take out the leaves and take out the grains or a wheat so i've seen him wanting to divide you, but i've prayed for you he was watching peter say when you have repented as he will you, he will you will allow him to be in you and God you will divide you but when you, you have divided you peter when you have repented strengthen your brother he was pointing at great bishop whom he had given the keys. He said, I've given you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth, God God you bind on earth. but you won't bind this devil who will be dividing you like a wit.